From wanting to face a UFC champion at the biggest stage of them all to defend his legacy, to Conor McGregor setting the bar high to win the welterweight title despite getting injured, here's why WWE superstar Dolph Ziggler called out former MMA fighter Conor McGregor. Now, there has to be some reason to do something crazy like that, right? Well, turns out, Dolph was simply defending his roster, because if there's one thing about Ziggler, he's not the only superstar that loves running his mouth. McGregor has constantly called WWE out, insulted the wrestlers, and claimed that he could take every single one of them down. The former World Heavyweight Champion appreciated Connor's kind words and challenged him in the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Ziggler is actually searching for a bit of momentum lately, with a recent appearance in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale on the 31st of March, he still didn't manage to land a spot at WrestleMania 39. In fact, his career isn't the same as it was in the early 2010s. His last title win was the Intercontinental Championship back in 2018, and that was five years ago. Dolph really needs a push to get his presence in the ring back on track. And he has a very interesting proposition for things to start running. Not only does Ziggler want to face the notorious one, but he also wants the battle to take place in every ring imaginable. And no, I don't mean steel cages, hell in the cells, or anything like that. The former Intercontinental Champion suggested the rivalry should take place in more than just one ring, and listed his demands as such. Octagon, boxing match, wrestling, fighting, WWE, and then set it all up for the best out of seven at WrestleMania, because that's where the money is, though not everyone can go and back it up. The last bit about not being able to go and back it up might have been a jab at the former UFC champion. But before I get into the details of McGregor and WWE, let's talk about this insane best out of seven deal offered by Ziggler. WWE is known for iconic rivalries that go on for months, and the best part is, they never get boring. John Cena and Randy Orton, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. There are just so many that left us screaming at the TV in the middle of the night. Dolphin Connor could be a great addition to everyone's top 10 lists, because in the end, Ziggler's stage presence is a fairly unpredictable one, you have to admit. Fans have noticed that WWE has constantly tried making him a heel star, but the audience would rather boo someone like Cena and cheer for Dolph. So, seeing him take on someone like McGregor would be very interesting, to say the least. How would he do in the ring? Well, Connor likes to use his words rather than his fists. He's never stepped foot in the ring, and whenever he's supposed to appear as a guest, he bails. Take WrestleMania 38, for example. He was supposed to show up, but never did. And instead of apologizing or giving a valid reason, he stated that, they all fear me. Let's test that theory, shall we? McGregor is around 5 foot 7, and Ziggler stands at 6 feet. Yeah, I was surprised too, he looks so much shorter in the ring. But this just goes to show that the entire roster could pass as an NBA team. Now, I'm not saying that being tall guarantees you countless victories, it's just that McGregor has done nothing but run his mouth. The notorious one competing in the ring is supposed to be the least of your worries, because the question you should be asking is, can a UFC fighter and a WWE star face each other off? The answer is absolutely. This is because of the recent merger between the two brands. And let's just say, fans are going berserk over the news. From a business point of view, the two juggernauts of combat sports will form a $21 billion corporation, while Nick Khan and Dana White will remain presidents of their companies. As far as entertainment is concerned, not much will change. I don't think you'll see something like Seth Rollins interrupting a match going on in an octagon because the stars will stay put under their respective banners. Could they switch from UFC to WWE? Well, have Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar not done that already? And can a pro wrestler try mixed martial arts for a change? Just look at CM Punk. These transfers will happen if a superstar wants to. Don't worry about not being able to see your favorite wrestler fight in a more scripted environment. What the merger does mean, though, is that Ziggler and McGregor might actually be able to compete after all. So what did the former UFC champion have to say about it? 
He tweeted a picture of himself with two championship belts around his shoulders, which most people found narcissistic. But that's just how the guy is, right? Connor said that WWE and UFC uniting would be inevitable. So does this mean that him becoming champion of both federations is also inevitable? I mean, we don't even know if he can beat Ziggler yet. Though the Irishman hasn't commented on Dolph's proposition yet, everyone knows it'll be something over the top and condescending, which is just the vibe that suits WWE's drama. Like any match, these two deserve to have a little expectation, right? No drama, no scripted wins, this will purely be based on their track record. And from the looks of it, Ziggler can easily beat McGregor. Now, don't be so surprised. If I'm talking about a match in the ring, the Irishman doesn't have much experience in what goes on in WWE. In mixed martial arts, there are no turnbuckles, ropes to use to your advantage, or announcer's tables to smash your opponent through, which, for some reason, is a great thing that can help the former Intercontinental Champion. If you've seen his older matches, you would know that Ziggler loves to play dirty low blows, distracting the ref, and using any means necessary to win the match is what keeps fans on the edge of their seats. Plus, that signature move of his always comes out of nowhere when you least expect it. Not to mention how intensely he slams his opponent's body onto the ring. I'm pretty sure the people at the back of the stadium can hear the impact. Throughout his career, Ziggler always keeps someone at ringside, be it a tag team partner or a love interest and they always end up getting involved in the match. Now, none of this means that Connor is a bad fighter. After all, there is a reason why he's the most popular athlete in combat sports history. But what would happen if these two were put in the octagon together? That's where McGregor shines best. And one thing about the fighter is that he has an amazing KO ratio, along with the fact that he's one of the best strikers in modern MMA. Some of you might be forgetting that he entered UFC from amateur boxing. So as far as skills are concerned, the notorious one takes the cake. Don't think that this contradicts my previous statement about how Ziggler can emerge the victor, because in the end, McGregor has to come close to his opponent to engage his supernatural strikes. And do you honestly think that Dolph will let him do that so easily? In a ring, when someone's down on the mat, you can pull every move from the book, like jumping from the top rope, putting your opponent in a submission hold that knows no bounds, and to Ziggler's advantage, play dirtier than ever. Now, in an octagon, Connor has what it takes to reign superior, so this whole argument is very difficult to talk about. Both of these athletes are loudmouths and can manipulate one another at one point or the other. But let's not forget how unpredictable the WWE star can be. These two would put on a show like none other, I can tell you that. Then what's stopping them from getting in a ring and settling it like real men? For starters, McGregor is retired. Or is he? According to Sportskeeda, the loudmouth has retired a total of three times in his MMA career, so that word doesn't really mean much to him. And guess what? It's been reported that he's officially returning to the octagon in the 2023 calendar. His next opponent? Michael Chandler. This news keeps getting better and better, huh? Nearly 20 months away from the UFC, Connor wants a shot at the welterweight title, and he has to beat Chandler to get the opportunity. The retirement may have taken a toll on the Irishman, but his leg could still be sensitive after all those months, and you should thank none other than Dustin Poirier for that. The exact date for his return isn't confirmed yet, but early reports from when Dana White talked to TMZ predicted a late 2022 to early 2023 timeframe. And would you look at that, it's early 2023 already. McGregor coming back is inevitable, the same way he said that WWE and UFC's merger is inevitable. And the fact that he mentioned the other banner means that he has something cooking with them, that's for sure. So, from Conor McGregor setting the bar high to win the welterweight title despite getting injured, to Dolph Ziggler wanting to face a UFC champion at the biggest stage of them all to defend his legacy, this was why WWE star Dolph Ziggler called out former MMA fighter Conor McGregor.